reform. Um, you've said Chicago is fighting a pandemic of violence. So Chicago police are fighting up against staffing shortages and instances like the deaths of George Floyd and Tyree Nichols, of course, don't help with recruitment or retention. Yeah. How do you reform policing and reduce crime at the same time? There are a few things we can do. I think first we, we have to realize that communities, uh, they need investment, right? For more, much too long we put money uh, we've poured dollars and dollars and dollars behind uh, CPD without having a real plan on how to invest in communities. We're not doing enough when it comes to gun violence prevention and working with the organizations on the ground in communities who need help. So we've got to do that first. Uh, but also we've got to change the culture of CPD. Uh, and I've said this before, it's not enough just to change policing uh, in Chicago. We have to change Chicago. We have to have real conversations about investment uh, and then find a way to make sure people are held accountable and that people are doing their job in a constitutional way. Mm -hmm. uh, let me switch gears here. Uh, you've said business leaders don't feel heard. Um, give me two examples of decisions made during this current administration that you feel got in the way of Chicago's progress and how you address uh, businesses that want tax relief and residents who say taxes are too high. Listen, I, I, I represent a a uh, legislative district in the state house right now that is extremely diverse. Um, I've got places like South Shore and Woodlawn. I've also got the Gold Coast and the Mag Mile, right? And what I see up and down 79th Street and 71st Street were business owners who wanted more help and more relief and more direction from the city. Uh, and what I also saw in places like the Mag Mile in Michigan Avenue, North Michigan Avenue uh, were people who were saying, help us figure out what to do next. And what we saw from this administration um, was not a, a hand up, but it was uh, basically a finger in their face saying, you've got to do better. Uh, when we saw the uprisings on Michigan Avenue, uh, the mayor blamed the shop owners for what happened. Uh, and, and that's not a way to, to do business in this city. We have to be a business-friendly city. We have to find a way to grow Chicago and bring more people here, more businesses, and more jobs to the city. Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, you're a son of Chicago. I am. And uh, you've had a lot of public ups and downs. Mm -hmm. So um, how do you, when you're talking about um, in turning Chicago around, how do you feel you're uniquely positioned for this moment in Chicago's history, given the things that you've been through? Yeah, well, listen, I think Chicago is at a real inflection point. Uh, and when I talk about violence in our communities, I'm not just talking about it from a 30,000 foot view. I'm talking about it as a person who has witnessed it and experienced it in his family. Uh, when I talk about uh, the issues with CPS, I'm not talking about it as a person on the outside. I'm talking about it as a CPS graduate and a person whose mother spent 33 years as a CPS teacher. Listen, we have a real chance today uh, to bring the city together. We have been really focused on our dissension and what makes us different. Uh, but my ability, I think, to bring folks together, to have real conversations about the Chicago that we all deserve is what's going to make me the next best mayor for the city. Oh, well, Cam, we certainly appreciate you being here as we continue to talk to each one of the candidates uh, in this very crowded race. Yeah. And um, before everyone heads to the polls, of course, uh, we will be back with you here. Um, Fox 32, the Lincoln Forum, and the Chicago Bar Association are set to host a mayoral forum live from the Union League Club. That's going to be on February 9th. All nine candidates for mayor are expected to take part in that forum. It's going to focus on issues like crime, as we were just speaking of, education, and the future of Chicago. A Fox 32 political editor Mike Flannery, Scott Schneider, and myself, uh, we will all be hosting your one-hour event. So tune in February 9th at 6 p.m. on Fox 32 and Fox32Chicago.com.